Hi, I'm Dr. Frank Savinsky, and welcome to DC Mentors V Blog. Today, we're going to add that seventh mental nutrient. So, to recap, we began with strategic thinking. We then went to innovation, quantification, orchestration, willpower, still power, and now we're going to add emotional intelligence. It is, while it's listed number seven, it is so crucial and actually culminates and actually assimilates all the others. So let's add emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is basically the ability to apply the power of emotion in order to move your business and to be able to, to make decisions on a high level. Decision making all starts with your emotional response and your, or your emotional reaction and or your emotional resentment to events in your life. You know, we've talked about business plans and in the book E-Myth Chiropractor we really talk about planning, but all of your business plans go away when you start seeing new people, when your business starts interacting. And that's why you have to have a dynamic sense and ability to shift your attention within the framework of your big vision. And emotional intelligence is self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. And it all begins with the intrapersonal, which is your the messages that are coming on inside you. That's the awareness that your moods, your excitements, your drives, and your maybe your downer moods can affect the people around you. It's the absolute awareness. You have to record yourself, listen to yourself, watch yourself and in certain situations. And then self-regulation is the ability to take a disruptive emotion, whether that's being too happy or too depressed and be able to shift it in order to make sure that your ability to think and to respond to people is consistent every day. Motivation is that ability to move, move in spite of all adversity. It's the ability to do that without worrying about a reward or status. It's the truly, it's the why you do say things. It's that purposeful high level activity. Empathy is the ability, is a intrapersonal, it's the ability to read people, it's the ability to kind of tune into their podcast to kind of figure out if they're picking up what you're laying down. It's the ability to see that maybe you need to go back a few steps or maybe many steps and be able to fill in the pieces for them. The ability to read their body language, nonverbal intelligence, it's all those things that are crucial. And then social skills is your ability to build a network of people that you've told the story of wellness and well-being. You've stole told the story of chiropractic vitalism in a way that excites them and that they get. We're going to have uh, webinars coming up in the future that are going to help you and your staff train on these essential pieces. EQ is not vague, it's not philosophical, and it's not optional. It must be ingested, it must be assimilated, and it must be used if you're going to take the practice you're in and build it into a business that wants to grow into a vitalistic enterprise that is destined, that is destined to make an impact in this world. I think when we add those mental nutrients, when you continue to ingest those on a daily basis, that you will start to feel, start to sense this new growth within you. Look, I want chiropractic to be front and center in the conversation on sick care reform. I want chiropractors to be the first choice, not the last choice for a few. I want you to take that practice that you struggle in, or that practice that you're bored in, that practice that you're frustrated in, the frustration that you have with the world seem to be passing by your message and turn it into fascination. And together, we can take that practice, turn it into a business, turn that into an enterprise, interconnect, and we can move. We can move more than mountains together. Are you in? The world is waiting. Get ready.